And I'll have the uh, super carnivore with fries and a cola. I still need to see your salmonella insurance and your carbonated beverage release forms. You need all that just to serve me a burger? Wow. Look at that. Gas is $410 a gallon. I want to give all the praises and the honor to Yahweh Bahashim, Yahweh Shah Bahashim, Recha Ha Kodash, and double honors to the elder apostles and bishops of Great Millstone. Honors as well to you, brethren, your other elders and brethren, you supporters of the faith. Shalom to the hopefully elect. Shalom. I just want to go uh, speak on this video. Hopefully it's edifying of um, this show called Sliders. I've seen it in the past, and for some reason I decided to watch it again. And I noticed that every episode, well, when you look at this show, I believe it's in the 90s, it showed um, them going through parallel dimensions and different Earths. Same time, same year, but different Earths. You know, this is them trying to think on the level of the Most High. The Most High has already seen things. It is already written. And through time, we go through different variations and changes as the earth does. But in this series, they slide to different earths. And what I was seeing is the things that I was learning back in the day, even before I came into truth, about the, you know, the, the new world thing. I, I can't say much about it. And... Um, isolated situations I guess the best way I could say it um, a utopia I guess for the elites and the chosen few see Yahweh Shah Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah have their elect and um, they uh, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah has his their elect and this society has their so called elect so this is what we're seeing and in their elect there's only going to be um, a chosen few who will, um, they will, things will be outlawed, right? Um, so to speak, let me say that. This is what was told. We kind of know the truth. Um, you seen in the clip where he said you, you're going to need um, approval from a doctor just to eat a hamburger. That your cholesterol isn't too high. This is total control. And this all goes with the C-hip. Right? The chipe. You know, the grain. Whatever you want to call it. This will all be linked into that. But they all, always got to show you what, what the plan is. So it's not really a shock to you. But these are plans that they play out. You know, you know, the scriptures speak on that, how they devise plans and schemes. The scriptures also say we're not ignorant of his devices. Um, Job 20 talks about, uh, I think in 20, um, him filling his belly and his enterprise, right? So when you go, let me go to Romans 11, which was being quoted out of Isaiah, according as is written, Right, Isaiah 29. Yahweh have given them the spirit of slumber, eyes that they should not see, and ears that they should not hear unto this day. So it's told that if you take a frog and put him in boiling water from the time it's cold, when it when that frog gets hot, he's going to boil to death. But if you take that same frog and throw him in hot water, he'll jump out of there. He'll have a fit because it's not normal like it's called like normalcy bias you know he's not used to that right so this is why things are called gradualism this is why things change slowly and the next thing you know you're in a society that you must wear seat belts right that you um, have GMO you're in a society that you know cash is pretty much out of here so this was a gradualized thing. And then you have this thing with the bricks. So it's a lot going on. Another part of this video, as you've seen, 
the gas was 400 and something dollars. So, I was watching a clip. I can't remember where it was. It was the Amawana Bard video. The big brother from VA or DC put a clip where a woman was talking about the, when the bricks get together, the money, uh, the, the, the U.S. dollar would be worth $7 or $50 to their one or something like that. Well, when you see this clip, $400 for a gallon of gas, ethanol. And then in another series of it, I mean, all this, I'm looking at this, these series and all of them have something in there. Right? Even with the, uh, the dinosaurs, they're trying to preserve certain animals on a certain land. They also had an episode where they were just throwing out money. You know, if cash was just useless. They were just giving people tons of money, but they must take a sacrifice for a lottery and for the better good of man and um, the agenda, you know what, the two one -er, you know. And it's all in there, you know. So I was shocked uh, watching this, and I've seen it years ago, but I didn't know exactly what I was watching, but I, I knew it was interesting. Okay, Luke 8 and 17. This will be real quick. For nothing is secret that shall not be made manifest, neither anything hid that shall not be known and come abroad. So it's hidden in these secrets, right? But knowledge shall increase. You know, these episodes, they had an episode where there was no gas cars. Well, we've seen that in Back to the Future. Look at a lot of your sci-fi. I guess that's why I like sci-fi. Because they kind of show you. Back to the future with holographs and everything else. These priests on the left hand side are set up to promote all this. You know actor means liar. But honestly. it's They're telling the truth behind the scenes. They're lying to you. But they're telling the truth. Right. I just wanted to say that. Uh, no reason to make it long. Uh, Matthew 11. Matthew's 11. Looks like 25. And it, and at that time, Yahawashad answered and said, I thank thee, O Father, Lord of heaven and earth, because thou hast hid these things from the wise and prudent, and hast revealed them unto babes. Right? Even so, Father, for so I seem good in thy sight. All things are delivered unto me of my Father. Right? It's proven there's no trinity. And no man knoweth the Son but the Father. Neither knoweth any man the Father save the Son. And he to whosoever the Son will reveal him. So through the Spirit and power, Yahweh Hashem, Yahweh Shah, this is why we have the name. This is why we uh, at Great Millstone pushed 100% truth. You know? It says, Come unto me and ye that labor. And are heavy laden. And I will give you rest. Your pastor's not going to give you rest. Right? Your preachers and pastors not giving you rest. There's a lot of Israelite camps that aren't giving you rest. Because they're not telling you. What the heck is going on. Right? The only way you're going to get rest. Is you got to be able to see. What's coming. Take my yoke upon you. And learn of me. For I am meek and lowly in heart, and ye shall find rest unto your souls. For my yoke is easy, and my burden is light. Yeah, according to what's get rate go down, you know, this is this is it. And um, I mean, this is why we do these videos, and we just show you in plain sight. The Lord revealed his secrets to his servants, so it's in plain sight. It's right there. We're just bringing it forth to you so you can see. Anyway, that's all I have on that. Shalom.